Welcome back to another video. In this video I'd like to continue developing the height testing we did in the previous video. So we have empty game objects, four of them around this this object, this solar farm, and uh, each of those points have raycasts emitting directly below them. When those raycasts hit the terrain we store the terrain height, then we find the difference between the highest point and the lowest point to find the, the greatest difference in terrain so we can determine whether this is a slopey terrain or a flat terrain. So the system works quite well but there's some areas we can improve both graphically and through the programming. So the main issue here is that when we go through the terrain like so the height points will not collide with it because they're they're traveling in a downward direction and there will be no terrain. So to address this I'd like to um, change our code a little bit so within our height point script, we get the point object here. So each of our height points. So again, just to recap, our height points are within this object, within our graphic, okay, within our ghost object. So we have each of the points here in our for loop. We can then do something with these points. We can raise them up so they'll never be underneath the terrain. And then once we're done testing, the raycasts, we can put them back in the original position and then on the next frame we can use them again. So firstly we can just store point y, the original point, equals point transform position y and now we can go ahead and change this position so point transform position equals a new vector 3 so we were interested in, in the y position here so point transform position X we don't really need to change this so copying it three times for the Y position we can say point Y plus 9999F so this really does make sure that our raycast will be emitted above the terrain and because it travels infinitely downwards until it hits our terrain we don't have to worry about how high it actually is so once it's at this point we can then go ahead and carry out the raycast it will still record the height of the terrain and then after we're done we can just simply reset the position so transform position equals a new vector 3 so we don't have to worry about the x and the z like like we mentioned earlier so we're just interested in changing the y so where we have point y we can just simply say point y variable okay point z so just putting things back to normal Cool. So when creating your height points, this allows the developer to put them in a sensible position and then the script automatically brings them upwards above the terrain. So they're always going to interact with it. Okay. So let's just test this out. I think the, the ghost object will now be a bit more strict on where it can be built, like so. So this is very flat, it's very green. Now it can turn red as soon as there's a slope. So to address this issue, it's a bit too strict now, let's put the max difference to maybe 10 units. Okay, so another issue I found whilst testing is that if we hover the solar farm on top of this point here, for example, we have no points, height points in the middle of the unit. We have them around the side and the terrain might be flat, but in the middle it could be bumpy, extremely bumpy. So we have no points to test this. So let's create another hit point, a fifth one command and D duplicating going into a Y and then just moving this into the middle of the unit so like so because this will come in handy for all of our instances let's overwrite the solar farm prefab and let's test it again so we can add as many points as we like to test the height okay so again it's a bit more strict now Cool, so it's working really well now. We can't build it on these slopes, but we can on the flat terrain going around. Cool, and as you can see, it's red going right up here. Okay, so a couple more things of improving this test before we move on. In our menu setup, when we create this object, we can um, say ghost renderer receive shadows equals false. We don't want this object to receive shadows ghost renderer cast shadows also false this is a transparent ghost object we don't want it to um, receive or cast shadows so the other thing we can do just to make sure 
nothing can go wrong. So the tallest height to begin with is minus 9999. So now we definitely know a value in our heights array will overwrite this and the shortest height as well we can put 9999 because we know that um, the shortest height will be smaller than this value as well. So just making sure these will be overwritten. Okay, so I think that's all I wanted to address in this video. We have a solid system now for testing the height. In the next one, we'll probably test for intersecting other units in the game. So thanks for watching the video. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one.